just instantly. Just look at him. Look, look at the brain damage. Here's a, just here's a couple clips of just brain damage Ralph. I can easily let this go. Like, um, I see why he wears the glasses. But uh, <laughs> there they are magically. Oh, ha! double fist. Everybody fisting. that thought Rakeda did it first. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nick, that was Ralph's gimmick first. All right, you want to talk about somebody two fists and glasses? <laughs> Ralph was the one that came up with that first. The ladies' man himself. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Lost the headphones. Banana Bear Show. Today we're going to talk about Ethan Ralph, um, the host of the uh, Ralph Retort and the formerly the kill stream um really? it was something that happened back in like 2005 6 no it was it was later than that it was yeah. like uh 2010 I, I don't know it was very popular it had a bunch of people it, it was like left wing people and right wing people um you know kind of debating but using foul language oh okay um but they were called kill streams and they were very entertaining uh, I mean, I've seen a bunch of them when they were coming up because I was a fan of Mr. Medicare. Right. And he wasn't he was involved with that. Um, but the guy that hosted it, uh, his name was, uh, you know, Ralph. Okay. I've never and, heard um, anything about this guy. So awesome. And as, and that could be a different video altogether, the kill streams, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about the here and now. Um, Ralph was, you know, a, I guess normal streamer, but right leaning. So of course, you know, he, he said some messed up stuff and it's usually to get to people that were like, you know, uh, false flagging videos or, you know, uh, the, the weird right leaning and left leaning people. It, it was basically like kind of what we do with the trolls, just, you know, but having trolls on there, right. Um, you know, Kiwi farms, all that crap. And, um, one of the things that a lot of people know him from is he was the guy that sold the video to TMZ, I think, of Chris Chan being arrested. Oh, no. Oh, dumbass! Sold this to TMZ for a hefty price, right? But then everybody started using this uh -huh. footage, and he could have gotten reparations for it on YouTube or anywhere else because that's his footage, right? Because he sold it all went to TMZ. Ah, uh. <laughs> yeah. So. Ralph is known for a bunch of things. Okay. Um, he's he moved to he moved to Mexico when he, he when his girlfriend was pregnant, so he wouldn't have to do child support. Oh, oh, okay. He didn't move with his his girlfriend. He moved away from his girlfriend. So when I realized that this was a locale. Mm -hmm. was the incident where I guess he got threatened by somebody in Portugal and right. he said well I'll go down and beat your ass <laughs> well he went down there that's not what happened and he was live streaming what a bum who exactly Where you at, Cog? Sad. Sad. <laughs> now there's two, there's two cameras. Yeah. If Eli's. Let's just say that. 
If Ralph's in the guy that attacked him. Oh, so these are the guys that are following Impressive. him around. Nah, we'll see yeah. right now. Hey, what's up, bitch? Hey, Dick, how you doing? Hey, what's up, bitch? What, what are you doing, doing bitch? Fuck out of my face. Ralph, get the fuck out of Fuck you, prick. Fuck <laughs> you, piece of shit. You're gonna hear a lot of sweeze in this. I know, right? What the fuck's going on there? What's going on there? Dickhead, let's go and get some fucking smoke. I'm not policing this guy. Yeah, whatever. Sure, mate. Now you think really just again. stop. Ralph, you're gonna get bad if you keep square. Stop! Stop swearing! Don't turn your fat con! Why are you swearing? Don't turn your fat con! Fuck Boys. you, bitch! Frick. <laughs> we're walking away. Now fuck off! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck walk you, we're walking away! Walk away or I love you! Walk away or I love you! Walk away! Walk away, you fat con! Oh no, big bitch! <laughs> Fuck it, we'll leave. Oh, you're gonna follow? Yeah. You're just following. Come on. I'll video it, Rob. Go for it, I'll run away. Shut up. <laughs> Y'all going to jail. No, we're not. What? You come at me first. It's on my fucking camera, you retard. Come on, he's talking me around. We literally stood around the corner, you fuck on. Fuck you, bitch. Shut up. No, that's not true. Come on, let's Yeah. No, Listen, sir. No, 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 no. It's yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Dan. Fuck you, bitch. Dan, come on. Fucking hell. Dan. I can't tell come if on, he's mate. brave or stupid. Oh, he's stupid. Oh, shit, Dan. Dan, mate. Stop it! Stop it! He immediately Stop goes it. down. Leave him, let's go. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Let's go. <laughs> Thugs, man. Now, if it was just that, Mikey, we've all been in fights. I I can't say myself I've lost any. Right. Um, not to be like, oh, I like I just I've been lucky. Because there's a lot of points and times it, it just takes one second to lose. Right. Um but Ralph just kept talking shit. Um <laughs> so when this happened, right, the people around him that were doing the kill streams before started making fun of him. <laughs> Sounds about uh, right. And he got pissed and he started going after them. Right. And uh, so, Mr. Menneker, right? Oh, uh, no. He did this weird thing where he would have, like, pill bottle, right? And shake it. it because there's, there's clips of him drunk and just doing pills and all that stuff. Because after this point, he just drank on stream and he was just being a piece of shit, right? Just calling people out. He's done it recently, even to the the um, local podcast, saying he's the Ralph male and fuck you, and he uses all the bad words. And the more you find out about him, the more piece of shit he is. He calls out Mister Medicare uh, to to have a kill stream again, kind of. But he okay. wanted somebody that was non biased. The guy that's hosting this, they literally they screwed up his his channel, like. 10 years prior because he was doxing people and on the kill stream uh, they made him show his you know people that he uh, not dox but he uh, flagged their videos okay which you even said is like oh, the worst thing to do yeah it's a no no for YouTubers yeah and he did that kind of ruined his whole career but he kind of got back from it so it's kind of fitting that they, he would be the unbiased moderator because he doesn't like Mr. Medicare or Ralph Okay. Now, you have to realize something. I, I'm skipping over a bunch of things just to show funny things. Um, Mr. Medicare has cancer. Like, okay. bad yeah. cancer. Uh, so much so that uh, 
Ralph keeps calling him Medicaid, which he doesn't care. Mr. Medicare is like, yeah, make fun of me. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, of course he wouldn't, but that's horrible. Yeah. So you're going to see like the downfall. Um, I didn't show you too much of his, like him being normal, but this is him uh, debating with uh, Mr. Medicare. Uh, obviously, he is wasted on repair um, and just talking it. And let's see how Ralph Ralph proves his point that, you know, Mr. Medicare is an asshole and he's in the right. He up for about 12 hours afterward. So, ladies and gentlemen, he's here. He's in oh, the back room right now. Let's bring him in. So, remember, we're going to keep this above the belt as much as humanly <laughs> possible, but it might go full bore. Okay. I don't know. Ethan Ralph of the Kill Stream, how's it going? <laughs> Well, you know, surreal doesn't even begin to describe it, Matt, but uh, here we are. Yeah, I know. I'm a little on the shock side, too. That's why I'm kind of like, all right, let's just uh, let's see what happens tonight. Why not? So we good to go, Matt? Oh, yeah, we're good to go. So, again, like I said, just we'll keep the rules. You know, let's I mean, I know things are going to get heated, obviously. Well, That's why I'll we're all say, here. Well, well, let me say this at the top. There are certain things, obviously, I don't know, you know. Uh, where Medicare wants to go with his with his commentary, but there's certain things I have legal, uh, yeah. you know, consideration. He can't talk about his ex wife that suing him for child support, but he moved to Mexico to get away from it or whatever. I, I won't, uh, you know, leave the call if he goes there or whatever. But there's certain things I cannot comment on, so I just I just want to put that out uh, up front. Sure. No, and that's and I, I'd already said that where we'll leave those kind of elements behind. And, and I, I'm fine with what the Rage Pig is saying. Okay. And he can talk about anything Do he I wants to bring upset? up. Do I seem upset, old man? You've been upset for the last week. You think so? Do I seem upset? You seem you upset. You just cried for two hours on Twitter what? begging me to come so you could suck no, my dick. Did... You're here now. Open your mouth. No, I'm not sucking <laughs> Come on, say, ah. Say, ah, Daddy Jim. You've say, always been a loser. Daddy Jim. You've always been a loser, faggot. You've oh, always but been I look like Jake Gyllenhaal with those Jim farmer muscles. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Ralph said on a stream that uh, Mr. Medicare was an odd that I just imagine uh, Mr. Medicare looking like uh, okay what did he say just now Jake Dylan Hall stream how's it going yeah well you know surreal such a know. huge deal Ralph yeah I think why wouldn't I have done it in the state that, that hides your name Ralph if, if it was such a huge name, deal why would I have not gone to a state that lets name. you hide it you're just like LLC. Did you change the name your daddy gave you? Because you're oh my dick. daddy. You're oh not my, not my you're daddy. Not my Ronnie. Coward. Yeah, motherfucker. Not my Ronnie. Of a bitch. You know what? You can make all the jokes you want. I'm gonna. Most I'm gonna make a lot of them. Watch this show. They're not gonna <laughs> watch, change the show. name. They're watch not gonna change show. the name. Ralph, you have no Whatever. audience. Your audience yeah. is dead. It's gone. Yeah, okay. What audience? Watch what your show? life will be here in about five years, cancer patient. They're gonna back down from you. I'll take your old fucking greasy slut and take her around back too, you fucking motherfucker. Do you think I give a fuck? You seem so I'm mad. I'm not like Gator. I'm not like Flamenco. I'm not gonna bow down. I know to you're about bitch. three times their size. Yeah, We're I'm gonna not gonna to bow down to, to one of you. Oh, oh, you're gonna walk, wheel yourself down the block? You're talking about people's sizes. You can't even walk outside your fucking house, motherfucker. You fucking pitiful. And you can't Excuse walk down the streets of Portugal. Okay, well, when I show up to your hometown and I'm a block away from your house. Why don't you come down the block then, bitch? You'll just hear pig noises. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. No, it gets better though. I um, mean, I'm sure, but like just starting out, it's just bam, 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 this bam. This guy's just like, whoa, who are you, man? Fuck you. Like, mind you, we're we're not like them. They they're all out. They use any words, yeah, all that stuff. I could never like use the low blow of you got cancer. Right. Right. Cause that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. But that, I mean, I know he doesn't care, but like, still he's like, what, what do you want me to do about it? Like, but he starts going after his wife, Yeah, you know, it, saying that, Oh, she's greasy. He has the, he has, I think a Korean wife. Oh, and he goes huh. more all out on that. Taken away. You like it when he gets fucked with like that? You no, know, you were joking around about him being a faggot two weeks ago. So you think a lot of shit is funny that I don't. I, mean, I do think a lot of shit is funny, but I'm not the one I saying mean, that his life should be ruined. You're, you're, do, you, do you think it was funny you're, when? Do you think it was funny when Matt uh, uh, Dick Masterson's MP2 project and Banks fucked him over? You like life no, ruination? You know who supported that? All the people you're supporting now, Jim. Apparently, you uh, too, Ralph, because you're jumping into it. You know what? Okay, well, I'll tell you this. Uh, and I'll agree that that is a very um, hard life ruination. 
Yeah, well, it's not doxing. It's life ruining. Dude, people have showed up to my house. People have spray painted. Did Gator show up to your house? You know, today, somebody Did Gator show up to your my house? house and dump shit in front of my fucking front door. And I didn't even make it public because it's like, that's what they want. Like, they literally dumped fucking shit. If people showed up to your house like that, you would be fucking crying dude to be honest with you uh you've lived your whole life trying to run away from your internet antics and you know what and i need to be taught a lesson right ralph you're gonna no, teach no, me that no, lesson not that gym, but it's like i like they know me right like there was literally shit in front of my fucking front door you can check that you image that's, that's, that's your you selling you point you tell like, people you you're the ralph funny. Mail. Do you think that's funny do you think that's funny like people show up to your house well you sell home. yourself as that guy you I say i don't give a fine. fuck i don't care i'm hardcore i'm badass no, no, fucks i didn't with cry me. about it i didn't cry about it but i'm but what i'm saying very cyrexy is, yeah do you think that's funny like if that happened to you do you think you would be like you wouldn't you know what i mean like <laughs> Right? Like, so, Ralph, I, let me ask you. I'm wrong. You you're you're asking your fucking me this question. Name. I'm turning it around on you. Life. If you don't okay, like it, why ahead. are you the one putting it out? If you think it's so what fucking terrible. It and it deserves people coming to my house. No, I'm saying if you don't like that shit, you say you don't, and I understand what you're saying I you saying? don't. What am you're I You're going to go fuck with Gator. You're going to try to get him blacklisted okay, for being a white nationalist. You think that's funny, that. Ralph? That's no, you true. think that's funny. You want to fuck true. with his life and do that's life ruination. That's, that's exactly what, what you want to do, Ralph. That's not what I just said. Just understand, when you put right. it out there, it comes back to you. you. Oh, no, I'm just making it real clear. You want to play no, life ruination, it will come right back to you. You have no... That's true. That's very true. It will be 10 times worse than that, Ralph. You're talking about putting up flyers. What do you think it's going to be like with you and your girl walking down the street with your face up there and it says some nasty shit? Or her face. It seems like you're scared of that, not me. I, I, I Ralph, I'm asking. So it you're cool like with it. You're scared of that, not me. Oh, Jim. okay, Sam Kinison, yell a little more. I'm not fucking. Oh, he's scared gonna of that. holler in his it Sam Kinison like voice. You're scared, boy. That's boy. what it seems like. Yeah. Listen, holler and hog. You don't you're want to let me talk. Just, you just are you let me about talk? it. Are you? Are you gonna? Are you gonna not? Oh, okay, life ruiner. Tell me. Tell me what you what think. Do you mean, it's like and then so after bad. that, you it's flipped out when people made jokes about it. You know what? Hold on. It wait. is embarrassing. It went to be you went to no, do that as an owner. Really. It absolutely Dude, fucking you is. Don't leave your fucking house. That's embarrassing. Do you understand? Well, there is a, there's you a video of me for somebody to sneeze on you. Getting beaten in the Puerto Rican streets or Portuguese you're street. Pathetic. You you conned our country into a lockdown. That's embarrassing. Uh, I, I didn't uh, know I ran the government, Ralph. It's not embarrassing. I run. Now he's talking about uh Mr. Medicare. The first time I ever heard the word COVID was from him. Really? He mentioned it four months before it happened. Yeah. The government, Ralph? Well, of course I should get my ass whipped. I'm going around talking shit. And he also talked about how China was buying all these masks, all these, you know, uh, uh, toilet paper, all this stuff from us, and we were just selling it to him. And it was really scary. So he did, like, fear monger somewhat, but he was like, I'm just saying because, like, you know, I'm hearing this shit and no one's talking about it. Right. You know? That's not so. fear mongering. That's telling the truth. Shit. Do, like, do I run the country, Ralph? Now too? You're an idiot, and you know you were wrong. And why don't you just say you're wrong? I am wrong? not wrong. I don't take back any oh, of my. What about points. COVID? You're you you do not take anything back. Uh, nearly a million dead Americans, six million dead worldwide. Oh, it I was so big tough. Deal. I goddamn, I wish they would have sneezed on you. I have to say, I have to say, it, it would have been. Uh... Yeah, you're vindictive and angry. You're a rage pig. Well, I mean, you know what? That's what you guys say about me, right? Like, I don't think it's out of bounds. Yeah, well, I, I'm literally telling you to your face, you're a rage pig. You know no, you know, you know what? Okay, rage pig, whatever you want to say. But uh, that's what I'm saying. All, all these things, like, what you think? I don't see all these people wishing me dead, saying all this shit about my fucking unborn. What if child. I wish you dead, Ralph? You didn't talk about my fucking child custody battle. You didn't. Where? Point me to my... that too, by the way. Oh, I can. You mentioned. I can't say the name without me getting in uh, trouble. Uh, just, is you. it on my timeline? Where is it? Where have I said something about this? Well, you I, got I, won't, I won't specifically I mention say. anything. You know what you said. You don't. I legitimately said. don't. Oh, you is it because Gator know. donated a dollar? Is that what? Like, it, I can't even say the name. Like, oh, okay. Is it because Gator donated a dollar? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> you went into some names that I can't go into because it's like it's actually like a child custody. If you look at the uh, the uh, the um the chat the, the chat they because he's like they put corn cobs in the front of my thing that's all corn. See battle and you know what? Sui. All shit aside, and again, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you're gonna shit on me forever. It doesn't matter. But like, I actually do care for my son and all this stuff about Ralph doesn't 
you know, want to claim him and all this bullshit is not true. And so I just want to say that for the record. And it's a very complicated situation that I have. Unfortunately, cases already in that vein, et cetera. Um, you can't tell he's drunk. And again, et cetera you, means you know, nothing if you don't have context behind wish, it. I would expect nothing less. And I've done nothing less. I completely understand that. But I just want to say for the record that I do love my son and all these things that are being said are not true. Um, so he loves yeah, his son, but he record. ran I away to Mexico. Your girlfriend or your ex-wife. I haven't talked about your fucking kids. And if you're talking about the Gator dollar thing, I, okay, that's well, the only thing others, I have, others that you've promoted have talked about that. OK, so you're mad at them and then you lash out at me <laughs> because you're too scared of them. Yes. I, you know what? I, I don't even know why you had a problem with me in the first place, I guess. You wrote two blog articles, Tumblr bitch Dude, blog articles fuck? about heartbreak. You were fucking with me before that. Like, do you not understand? You're telling me that rattle in a pill bottle has led you to why this point in you your life? That? Like, what the fuck? Because it's you... funny. Okay, you like, like, there's not. Okay, but it's only diminishing things that you're saying and doing. Like, it's like, why would somebody not feel hostile towards that like i don't feel like that's ralph like, you can oh, make all the jokes you want but you're you take it from a, like, a point I mean, of I'll making jokes i never said like jokes about your cancer i only said i hope this guy gets better you understand like it's like that's not true shit ralph, you just no told week. everybody over the last week that you hope uh, you've well, been yeah, well, now, you didn't know you've been holding it in for a year well, yeah, for a year that. and you wanted me dead and in hell and my wife's a whore okay and well, I, i'm responsible for covid and my videos are shit you know that's not fucking true so whatever so you're lying again i'm saying when a guy's talking shit about me of course i'm gonna say whatever like that's normal i don't think that that's outrageous i've known you for literally eight years i've known jade for the same amount of time do you think i really want to see you guys dead of course not that's fucking well stop saying insane. it <laughs> But I mean, it's you know it's very you're simple. You're talking shit about me. You're bringing my family into it. You're bringing my fucking. I son literally I have not brought your family into it. I could have. I could have said some real mean shit, Ralph, and I haven't <laughs> said anything. Well, I'm I mean, you, you're you're talking about all all the mean shit I could have said. You have promoted, <laughs> dude. Are you really like gonna quibble? Like, do you think that that like I'm Ralph? Just this is an end result of you literally fucking with everyone on the internet. Yeah. Well, that's you know what that's why i'm not gonna take out the collection plate or like cry about it you know it sucks uh but i fuck with a lot of people for sure like, I mean, so why are you surprised they're now fucking back with you when you fucking was threatening to kill himself three months ago because of a bad test it's his nursing school or whatever like i didn't sit here and say oh let me screen cap that jim jim will think it's funny three months from now i didn't sit here and say that you understand? And all that shit fucking happened, and all the shit in real life fucking happened, and so for him to sit here and go that route, it is what it is. I completely understand. He's not so making any he's sense. Getting equal but measure of rent and bad. making fun of him, you're going to try to ruin his life by paying. Pay Worski. Yeah, what? but dude, you you, well, you well, to, wait, 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 no, no, I don't care about Worski. I, I, with in regards to Gator, there was an incident about. I don't. Yeah. I, do you don't understand? Like it's. I don't want to say optics, but like it's like, oh, okay, it's so funny to fuck with Ralph. And you know what? Some of the shit is funny. It is what it is. But Let's like, stop bitching about you know it. What? If people were showing up at your house, there's been fucking three people that shown up at my house in the last ten days. That's not fucking cool, dude. And Jesus, dude, why do you think that is? Look at what you've been doing for the last fucking two weeks. I'm just saying, man. Bill bottle. Can you, you send know, me the audio fucking, where I said that? Okay. Well, you shook your pill bottle for sure. Okay, so you're you're attributing a whole bunch of shit to a pill bottle. I mean, that really got you fucked up. Why does that? <laughs> hey, so like, much? what the fuck? That's years ago, dude. Like, why does that bother you so much? Cause I don't fucking like thinking about that. The pill bottle specifically fucks you up that much. <laughs> I got a lot of reasons why I don't fucking shake. You know, I don't fuck with you about your worst fucking moment every fucking time you come on air. Like, what the fuck? I, I don't know that's your worst moment. You're telling me the pill hey, stream well, was the worst moment? No, it's moment. not. But what I'm saying, it might be the worst ones you motherfuckers know about. I don't fuck with you like that every fucking time you come. Do you understand? Like, what do you mean? You act like, you act like I'm crazy. I, I do, because I would think you your are. worst moment would be a tape you uploaded. 
Like, if you, you're talking about me being mean and shit, I'd be making jokes about that all the time and posting caps of that all the time if I wanted you to be a con. You know I can't talk about. I know, I know, and I know. I'm not going to bring it up, but I'm just saying as an example, if I was going to be like a dick well, and pick what I thought your worst level was, I got it would have been that. To that. And I can tell it to you if it was off air, but I can't talk I, about it. I get it. You can't talk about it. You can't talk about it. I won't bring it up anymore. So it is <laughs> what it is. And look, dude, I'm not saying that. I've had some not proud moments. Like, I'm not, like, I don't. <laughs> I hope you don't think um, like I'm holding myself up as some exemplar. That's that's not the case. You're more drunk. It's I'm a exemplar. <laughs> All I'm saying is like, you know, it's like fucking have some goddamn empathy for other people who you I, help put in those situations. More shit going on. That's why I'm at Internal Medicine and Mayo Clinic. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you're I, talking I, about like, oh, he's afraid to leave his house. I have to plan trips to go to Rochester where I've got to duck and dive through the sickest people there are with no immune system to go spend uh, two to three weeks getting fucking every test. Oh, we need a CTA. We need an MRA. We need a, you know, a normal CTA and an MRI. So, you know, it's just nonstop shit of having to go down there and you're around people from all over the world because mail brings in people from all over the fucking world doing all yeah. these tests, coughing their fucking heads off, bleeding from their fucking orifices. And you're like, shit, <laughs> you know, it's this fucking dance. Yeah, and again, um, and I don't know. I, I've never been, and you talked about it pretty openly, and and so I've, I've never been one who who said you were faking or or anything like that. Yeah, Ralph, what I'm telling you is, you could make jokes about it. You could go with the faint cancer thing. That's fine. Just like the name change shit. But have all the fun with it you want. It's like, I understand, but it's like. And again, it feels like I'm sitting here saying this, and it's like, and again, as much shit as me and you talked about uh, what in the last week. All right, I'll, I'll sum it up. Yeah, please, because he's doing a horrible job. <laughs> what I've noticed is this: he wants Medicare to be his friend. Okay. And Medicare has always said this to everybody. He, he there's audio of him saying, "I'm nobody's friend." Right. You guys are online. I'm not your friend. Right. But he has no friends, and he and he looks up to Mr. Medicare, and because these two guys were a part of Gamergate, if you didn't know, right? Yeah, these three actually were the ones that actually were the big names of them. Um, so like he thinks like, oh, they're cool and all that stuff. But after Mr. Medicare started making fun of him with the pill bottle, bottle shaking it and calling him Rage Piggy, uh. Uh, Eli, uh, Ralph, he did these articles, fear and karma, you know, making fun of uh, Mr. Uh, Medicare, changing okay. his name and all this stuff. And I think it's because he wanted him to be his friend, and he's like, I'm not your fucking friend. Well, he and got you hurt. To... Sounds like he got hurt. He's like, yeah, we're friends, and then Medicare's like, no, no, we're not. And then he's like, oh, it hurt my feelings. You know who could lose a little now, the reason why I'm bringing this video up, and the reason why I wanted to bring up this guy, and I'm doing a weird job of throwing this out. This just came out. Okay. Okay. Mr. Medicare barely does streams anymore. But what he does, he does it on a, a little life coaching advice right now. Senor Ethan Ralph. I don't know if you know this, but he's in Mexico. Likes to tell people that quite a bit. But let's get on. Let's get on to the show proper, folks. Because you came out here to learn how to woo a lady. And we need to learn from a man's man. I'm talking that real alpha male brain butter, penis pudding, vitality drinking kind of guy. The kind of guy that's got a, a poster of Andrew Tate on his wall and masturbates on stream because he don't give a fuck. The kind of guy that's willing to strong arm a woman because he knows that's what they like. Women like a lot of things and Mr. Ethan Ralph knows what all of those are. While dogs in the street, a metal shed with a $400 rent, not enough money to buy proper food, but to eat tortas every day, all day. I mean all day long. For those of you that don't know Spanish, torta means sandwich. But apparently when you call it a torta, it becomes a magical thing that Americans can't get their hands on. <laughs> well, our man's man has put together a little primer on how to treat the ladies. Somebody else would have to pick another judge. I don't know who that other person... Like, we don't trust anybody. Like, that's the only thing. Like, um... And I don't want to... I don't want to set up, 
like I I I, I want an actual judgment. Oh. oh, you're tempting God with that one. I don't know if somebody living your life should be saying something like, I want actual judgment. I can feel the clouds parting above my fucking head just playing this clip right now. Oh, yeah. 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 20 grand. 20 grand for the king ain't enough. Are you fucking absolutely kidding? So he asked, uh, he put it on stream. He's like, hey, for 20 grand. Now, I know Mr. Medicare can't fight, but maybe, like, I have a situation where, like, we can mud wrestle. 20 grand. What? And then someone's like, dude, that's way too, like, that's not enough. And he's like, that's not enough. Are you kidding me. 20,000. Man, dude, you're, dude, I'm so close to Fed Post, and, like, I, I have to actually stop. <laughs> I, by the way, I didn't even, that wasn't me. I didn't say shit to him. I hadn't even seen this clip till well after it was, you know, <laughs> done and dusted. And he's, he's just, he's that infuriated at the thought of me telling him no, that he's, he's close to, he's got to have a cigarette. I made this motherfucker smoke. I mean, <laughs> the thought of me telling him no was so much he picked up smoking. That's, that's powerful. I have power over pigs. Instead of St. Patrick and the stakes, I've got St. Augustine. And the piglets. That's when you did leave? Yes. When I left, he grabbed me by the throat, which is why I think T got confused of the nights. November would have been the time I left, and he grabbed my throat. So now we've got uh, the next woman that Ralph was with. After the last woman, okay, well, let's, let's back up first. First, he uh, screams at his mother. Then he threatens his ex-wife. Uh, then he gets accused of raping a woman in her mouth. And here's the baby mama number one saying that he not only, you know, physically dragged her around but grabbed her by her fucking throat now watch his reaction to this because he's going to go off on gator because of course this is all gator's fault uh goddamn gamer gator which i don't even know like that's just complete what? fantasy like i don't even know where that came from in the slightest i mean what like the literally fuck? they're just making up complete fan fiction and gator did this the whole reason i put his information out there now i didn't dox him uh myself but i put out that he was in carolina and that his name's brian and all this stuff and then zoom doxed him the next day the reason i did that the reason i did that was because he was on kino casino and he's like yeah i know for a fact that ralph runs pants whose accounts and this and that like literally just making up stuff wholesale and i was like okay well if you want to just make up shit wholesale and try to fucking like torpedo me with just absolute lies by the way there's a lot of real shit that i've done that you could talk about you're just right. gonna go out there and just make shit up okay fuck you no sex i mean you're really kind of a worthless wife to be honest with you so here's ethan ralph high on pills drunk off his ass Physically threatening his wife. She's scared. You can hear it in her voice. He's already admitted. You can hear it in the audio that this has happened before, and he doesn't give a shit. He's going to do it again. Demanding she clean up his piss because he's a giant fucking baby. He can't do it himself. Can't use a toilet like a human male that's above the age of three. Here he is, telling her she's a this worthless is disgusting. piece of shit. As his child screams in the background. You know... The majority of the time, I like to make jokes, and we do. We like to make jokes over here, have a good chuckle over here. But this is really who Ethan is. There's no excuse for this. This isn't uh, having a bad day. This isn't an addict struggling with a, uh, a tough time. There are a lot of addicts in the world. A lot of people out there that are alcoholics or pill poppers that don't beat their wives. They don't. Fair. I'm a walking living. Would you like to take over right now? You know, I, I have to say, too, because we haven't really got to the proper uh, thing that she said yet. Uh, nail on the head. Uh, you don't prepare and you have no content. If you've watched a, a Ralph stream in like the last seven months, it's him high off uh, his ass and drunk as a skunk with nothing to do but watch CNN. She was absolutely savagely right on this. Right now, I have a screaming baby dust. No, do you think, do you, think you could do it better? Is it, is you, it you that's made over half a million dollars since I got out of jail, or was it me that's done that? You can't quantify this. Uh, no, I can. I can count dollars and cents. I, I just want to know, was yeah, it you yeah. that made all that money? It wasn't Digi, bro. Where'd I'm all the not. money go? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, we call that a kill shot. 
Oh, on the kill stream. That's a kill shot, baby. <laughs> Where'd all the money go? The money. It wasn't Digi, bro. Where'd all the money go? Why am I living in a metal shack? <laughs> Why am I living in a metal shack surrounded by hungry dogs on the street? Where is that money, Piggy? Uh, it's still here. Where's your money at? It is it with me. Harry Morris? Fuck! <laughs> yeah, it's with Harry Morris. No. Why would it be with him? He well, I mean, that's the only money you ever had came from him. Is oh. that his girlfriend? Oh, where's your money? Let me. This is yeah, why. Yeah, where's your money, lady? Uh. Who cleans my piss up and uh, has to watch my child because I'm too drunk and high to do it myself. Oh, they all burn in eternal damnation. Um, but that's the, that's the status. Um, God, can you, can you imagine it? Like, put your, put yourself in the place of the woman that's stuck living with this pig. Like, listen to him talk. He's just oh, super obese. He's got like a brain damage slowness to the way he speaks. Uh, you know, constantly doing that shit. High off Zannies, drunk off his ass. He pees in bottles, probably no shame. He'll probably just drink a beer and then piss in the beer in front of you. And then he talks like this, and he's always wearing sunglasses. This has got to be some kind of like Geneva Convention um, restriction against this for torture. Like the world courts need to step in. I don't know. Except for, you know what? Like your grandmother and what? certain people like were actually good to me. And her, and her grandfather... Anonymous sent ten dollars. Suffer horse. Yeah, yeah, suffer horse. I don't know who that means. I love this part, and Medicare's gonna mention it. Uh, what he is going on. So he's talking about his last girlfriend dumped him, and okay. they're separated. Yeah. And he's like, uh, fuck you, you know, but your grandmother, she was nice to me. Someone donated $10 and said, suffer horse and started playing goodbye horses. Watch his attitude. He's just, oh, you know, she was nice to me. All this stuff. Now, check this out. Um, watch how quickly his personality changes. It just turns on a dime. You've already seen a clip of it earlier with that $20,000 thing. He was so happy. $20,000, Jim, you and I can wrestle. In seconds, he was fuming, seething angry. Now, look at this. He's talking about, oh, we separated. It's not really a divorce. He seemed a little sad about it. And now now he hears the phrase, suffer horse, and watch how quickly. Look at the sneer on his face. <laughs> I guarantee you that's the look he has on his face when he's slapping a bitch. Did you want a fucking day? You got one, cocksucker. Did you want a day? This is your day. This is the day of the horse. The day of the horse has come. Are you ready, cocksucker? What? Instantly. Lucky. <laughs> Look at his face. Yes. On <laughs> a dime. Just instantly. Just look at him. Look at look at the brain damage. Here's a just here's a couple clips of just brain damage Ralph. I can easily let those go. Like, um, I see why he wears the glasses. But uh, <laughs> there they are, magically. Oh, ha! Double fist. Everybody fisting. that thought Rakeda did it first. No, I'm sorry, Nick. That was Ralph's gimmick first. All right. You want to talk about somebody <laughs> two fists and glasses? Ralph was the one that came up with that first. The ladies' man himself. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Lost the headphones. Oh no. I didn't pause it. <laughs> I didn't pause it. I wonder, remember, he's got a uh, head. So every time you see, whenever you see Ralph silently sitting there not saying anything, it's not dead air. Because in his head, he's hearing things. He's hearing things that never stop talking to him. Other little Ethan Ralphs are talking to him right now. You gotta take that from that bitch, Ralph. Grab those two liquor glasses and drink them. You gotta let them treat. Don't you let them big league you, boss. 
You earned that Modelo. Yeah, you take those zannies, piggy. It's your day, big boy. That's what he's hearing. Nonstop. Nonstop. It never ends. It never, ever ends. <laughs> Let's talk about somebody with a way and with that, words. That, of course, brings us to our more uh, you know, recent... Uh, what, do, what do we want to call this? How, how do we explain this? I mean, I, I wouldn't really say girlfriend, because she was only with him for about two weeks. Well, I guess he's speed running, ruining relationships. <laughs> with the past ones, it was at least you know a few months to a year. But uh, with Denny, if I'm saying Denny Soros, huh, I don't know how you say your username. But with her, it was only, I believe, two, maybe three weeks of this uh, conspiracy to get him. He needed to go and make a public statement about how these terrible Me Too lib shit women are making things up. All these women, all these girls, just abusive and terrible and doing all these terrible to Claudia Scheinbaum, the future Jewish president of Mexico. Ah, uh, Miss Scheinbaum. You know, those Mexican Jews, the lost 13th tribe. On to that yet. Maybe, maybe that's what started the fight. We don't know what started the fight and the fallout. Maybe she was like walking down the street after they had some delicious tortas, and all of a sudden <laughs> she felt the wind, what she thought was the wind, but it was really Ethan Ralph hunched over on his little piggy hoofs, trying to sniff her butt truffle hunting. For his next chocolate treat. Oh, yeah, man. I, I can't lie. I can't lie about that. Well, I say bring it on. That's what I say. Or let it go. Because the only way to take me off these fucking airwaves is to fucking kill me or lock me up for life. Ooh, tempting fate again there, champ. I don't know if we want to go around saying the only way to take me out is to kill Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking moron. Oh. Pawn, that's what you're supposed to be. Not, you know, telling women to clean your piss bottles up and calling your daughter a bitch. Not driving drunk down the wrong way of the fucking street in a third world country because you don't give a shit about their safety. All you care about is how high you can get and how good that'll feel. Wow. You know, most of my streams are supposed to be lighthearted, but Jesus Christ, you make that difficult, don't you? All these people trying to save you talking about a redemption arc? You're undeserving. You're undeserving, Ralph, of redemption. Leave, uh, leave redemption to God. Maybe God will forgive you, Ralph, but I think humanity as a whole has probably had enough of your shit. You aren't Ric Flair. This isn't wrestling. This is real life. You treat people like dog shit, and you're going to die alone. <laughs> And that's really sad. You're going to die alone in a metal shack, Ralph. Wow. And you chose that. That's the future you chose. And the people that openly associate wrong. with you after seeing all of this and hearing all of this are con men and grifters. And they shouldn't be given any opportunity to spread their bullshit because they don't believe in it. So uh, one thing. You are a fucking circus sideshow. One thing about uh, Ralph, he's right winged, right? Right. So right winged people, and the big thing the the right wing is saying like, oh, you know, nuclear family, you know, all uh -huh. that stuff. And then you, if you on a show like this, he literally is a drunk mm -hmm. that abuses his, you know, wife. Oh, you know, the man has to be the bread maker. Oh, okay, but it doesn't happen when you're like, where's your money? You know. Right. Well, I mean, there's bad on both sides, and he's the total picture of the wrong right-leaning person yeah big mean doberman pincher right or or, or whatever some germanic uh, what's a rottweiler right or a pit bull you know you go up to that dog you know and he's like hey what are we don't watching? fuck with me dog so what is this uh so advertisement uh you should treat women like dogs um so I don't, it has nothing to do with that, Ralph. I thought there was a little more at the end of this. Okay. Uh, there really isn't. Don't worry about that. Okay. But I just think it's funny that we should do other videos on him because there's, there's blatantly a lot of things I didn't talk about. Uh, you know, Ralph, the Ralph Emil. Um, he seems like I a big this, loser. Yeah, it's a good introduction of what you're going to be in store for when we do talk about him. Uh, also, the, the Medicare stream just happened this week. So, you know, was, I'm like, oh, why not bring up this guy? Yeah.
And um, so, Mike, what do you think of, uh, you know, Mr. Killstream guy, the Rage Piggy? Somebody that tried to do something good and went down the very bad path of doing bad things and it catches up with you. And he is very, very out of his mind. Yeah. I like, thought it would be funny to introduce somebody that looked like, literally, if you see him, you're just like, what's wrong with this dude? And then that fight, trying to be a hard ass, he's not. Yeah. Him literally using like, you know, profanity, like weird words. Uh, I'm not saying that makes you the worst person ever, but it shows your mindset of like, you know, you're, you are a piece of shit. I mean, you know? he's not the worst person we've had on here. And I'm sure there's more stuff that he's done. And just kind of taking from the context of their conversations, I'm sure there is a lot more stuff. Yeah. 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 And, and I mean, if, if it is really true that he beats his wife and stuff like that, I mean, obviously that's real bad. Yeah. I, I don't think any real man would like agree that that's good. No, that's not, it's not good yeah. at all. That's, and he he ran away from Mexico to get away from child support. No, he went to Mexico. He like he lives in Mexico, right? And the the rumor was was because he didn't want to pay child support. Okay, with his first kid. Okay, so he, he had another kid. So he's living in like a metal shack, right? In Mexico. Like, why are you in Mexico? He's like, oh, I like I love it here. No, it's it's because you don't want to pay child support. They don't. They you can't. They don't. They can't take money from you unless you're in the States. Okay, so so let me let me let, let me clarify. So he has a wife here in the States. No, uh, no. Well uh, ex wife. Uh, well yes, yes, sorry. Ex wife with a child. Oh, yeah. At least one with a child. Yeah. Then he went to Mexico who and he got a wife there with a child. Oh well, uh, no, oh well. Or is he it had an, yeah, another kid. Another kid. Because he has a he has a son and a and a girl. Okay. But now they're separated. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then he had another girlfriend that he was also abusing. Okay. Like I think I I kind of skipped through that area. He made her go through cartel like parts so he wouldn't have to. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. She's a Ralph a male. <laughs> yeah. Ralph a pussy. Yeah. Uh, be sure to go and uh, YouTube and check out Banana Bear Show. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe. Man, this guy's horrible. The more I think about it, it's like... Oh, you'll see more, and then it, I guarantee the next video you're going to be like, what a piece of shit. <laughs> like, this is his introduction. Uh, like, a, not the best. Uh, I was trying to key it all together because yeah. this guy has done a lot and he's just a drunk piece of shit yeah and uh we'll see you next video bye give me a squeal sweet sweet <laughs>